Right, so recently there has been a lot of wedding photographer drama going over on TikTok, which means today we're not going to be talking about one situation in particular, we're going to be talking about two. And not only that, but I have two very different opinions on both these situations in particular. But first of all, let's actually start with the piece of drama that blew up first. Well, actually, before we get into that, I am trying to reach half a million subscribers on this channel, so if you haven't already subscribed and you feel like you want to, that'd be bloody lovely. Right, so for this first situation, it all started when a TikTok account called Trip Photo posted this video. So it's a five second video with music in the background that I'm pretty sure is copyrighted, so instead of playing it, I'm just going to read it. And it says, when someone inquires for wedding photography with a 2K budget, and I send back my starting prices of eight and a half grand. Now straight away, you can probably guess why people initially had a problem with this, and that's mainly because it's pretty expensive. I'd say it's definitely above average. Like, there's a lot of people that pay a lot less for their wedding photography. There's also some people that maybe pay the same or even more. But here's the thing, right? For this first situation, I do actually feel sorry for this person here, Trip Photo, as they go by on TikTok, because they are getting a lot of hate, and I mean a ridiculous amount of hate. And it's not just simply because of this price, it's because people actually then went to their website to look at their gallery, and it seems like a lot of people weren't really impressed. Now I'm going to avoid any pictures that actually have people in it, because you know, it's people's weddings, right? They probably don't want to be on a drama video. But she does have some nice pictures, like this one right here, you know, very arty. As you can tell, not really a photographer by any means, I'm using the word arty for goodness sake. But then they also have photos like this, and I think you can probably guess why some people seem to have a problem with this. It's because it's obviously not in focus, right? It's very blurry. Now, obviously, she's done this on purpose. If it was meant to be in focus, it wouldn't be on the website. But the vast majority of comments on the original video, which we will look at in a second, are basically saying, like, why would I pay so much for blurry photos? Again, here's another photo that is just completely out of focus. But then, on the other hand, they have nice photos like this, which I will show because you can't see the faces or anything, but it's a nice picture. But this is where we should probably read the comment on this video because people they went in. Hearing your price and then seeing your website, I literally gasped. And that's got 18.6 thousand likes. I thought y'all were just being mean about her work, but never mind. Again, nearly 20 thousand likes. How much for non-blurry photos? 20 thousand likes. As a photographer that also does wedding photography, that absolutely baffled me with 45 thousand likes. Like, clearly a lot of people had a problem with this video. I've also came across another comment that says seven reviews, three of them are one star, my favourite, overpriced and shames customers on TikTok, quite the professional there, Kate. Yeah, I'm not sure about this part in particular, that's a completely different situation, which if that is true, obviously wouldn't really defend it. But the thing I will say about the photos, again, she obviously meant for them to be blurry, the men to be out of focus, which I assume means she obviously agreed with the bride and the groom, like this is kind of like a style they were trying to go for. So if that is the case, and this is something that has been agreed on, the price has been agreed on, the style of pictures has been agreed on, it seems like they like the pictures because it's now in a gallery on a website. If all of that stuff is true, which again, I don't know 100%, they might have hated the photos, I don't know who they are. But from what I can tell, they haven't came out and said, otherwise that people's pictures were just shown. So I don't think it's as big of a deal to what people are making it out to be. Of course, if you think that the price is too expensive compared to what you actually get, then that's your own opinion. But there has been a lot of people that have been pretty mean. I mean, let's actually just take a look at a video that someone made replying to Trip Photos TikTok. And this isn't a person who's being like, overly mean compared to what I've seen in the comments. I've seen a lot of people kind of like insulting and whatnot, which I just think is bang out of order. If you're gonna go out your way to insult somebody based on their work, that's a bit baffling to me. Voicing your opinions on the work is obviously different, but I have seen people just going out of the way and really, really insulting her. This photographer is getting a lot of backlash for releasing her prices, which is 8,500 starting. Now I took a look at her gallery and let's see if these pictures are worth 8500 now with this picture i can see the intent right going for that old timey rustic i dare say you did not capture what you thought you did i mean look right i mean even in my opinions the photos really aren't great by any means or at least some of the pictures anyway some of them i do think are quite good it just isn't like my cup of tea i get there are people out there that might like the whole like blurry out of focus like arty stuff, right? I just do think completely bashing the photos because it's not really your style and you don't think it's great is it's a bit over the top to me. Especially considering it seems like this is something that has been agreed upon with the clients and the photographer. They've obviously agreed on the price. There's been nothing to suggest that she's out there like scamming people and saying, oh, it's actually only gonna cost $4,000 and then charging people eight and a half grand. Like it seems like she is very open about the prices and open about her work. And then it's up to people if they like that or not. What I did see is she's a very big fan of blurry photos. I just feel like the jewelry placement it's just not working. It's really not. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if this is true, but uh, what if photographers allowed to kind of like 
touch people's stuff, like their jewellery, and place it wherever they want. I feel like... Uh, I might be talking shit here, but I feel like, or at least I've heard somewhere, and again, I could definitely be wrong here, but I feel like I've heard people say that the wedding photographers are supposed to not touch anything and kind of take pictures how it is, but that could be wrong. Now, this woman is stunning, but this picture looks like it was taken in somebody's backyard. I mean, right, she's saying that it looks like it's been taken in someone's backyard, but this is obviously like a venue that they've picked. The photographer doesn't really have a choice in that. Like that might be the best area there for a photo. I, I feel like it's a bit unfair on the photographer. Again, she's stunning, she's beautiful, she is giving, but the photographer, it just looks like this is in somebody's bathroom. There's nothing special to the photo. Uh, well, how was that her fault? I feel like this has really been blown out of proportion. Now, it's hard to really tell unless we have seen the venue ourselves and maybe there were some better locations that they could have picked. But how are we supposed to tell from this? If you think you're worth $8,500, go ahead and charge for the $8,500. But if I got my wedding photos back and they looked anything like those, I would request a refund. Actually, I would dispute it with my card company. Yeah, so I think it's fair to say that this TikToker house drama definitely wasn't a fan of Trip Photos pictures. And this situation is really blown up. The original video has over 5 million views. The video we just watched criticizing the work has over 3 million views. Like a lot of people are voicing their opinions, which they're definitely allowed to do. Right? If you don't like the work, fair enough, you don't like the work. And in fact, Trip Photos posted a new video kind of responding to all the backlash has been getting. Imagine sending me death threats because you don't like my photos, but I'm just over here busy working with my favorite little assistants. I believe what she's referencing here is her daughter who appears in the video, but I'm, I'm obviously not showing that. At the end of the day, saying you don't like my photos or you won't pay my price isn't inherently offensive. We all have different style preferences, values, and priorities. Harassing my pages, saying I deserve to be killed, hating on my looks, my voice, my children, fake reviews, inquiries, preaching community, over competition on your photog PG and then spam commenting hate. Grown adults parents participating in online bullying. Doing those things says more about you than me. Hurt people try to hurt people. Yeah, I think for me, this situation in particular has been blown out of proportion. And that's coming from someone whose opinion is that the price is really expensive and I personally wouldn't pay that for the photos that are on the website. But that's about it. I definitely then wouldn't go out of my way to start posting all over her videos saying how shit she is at her job. And then obviously in some cases, people have done a lot worse, it seems like. But this second situation I wanted to talk about, my opinions are very, very different. And it's coming from a TikTok account called Squid... Um, uh, oh God, I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Sid is the person who runs this account, right? A wife and stay-at-home mum. And they've actually posted their own video, carrying on from this whole drama that's been blown up within the last week, but instead of talking about Trip Photo, they're talking about their photographer that they had experience with at their wedding. And for me personally, this situation is a lot worse, and it doesn't have as many views as the Trip Photo stuff, it has 2 million views. It still blew up, but th this one's a lot worse. Now the first thing that we noticed with my wedding pictures is that there's a lot of limbs that look like they're decaying. Why, why am I purple? Why am I gray? Yeah, so straight away, you can see there's a difference with this video, right? Because in the original video, we're talking about these like blurry, out of focus pictures that was definitely done on purpose, and I assume was agreed upon with like the clients, you know, the people whose wedding it was. Whereas these pictures in particular, isn't a style choice. They're just bad photos that definitely wasn't agreed upon. My entire torso here is gray. My husband's hand looks like it's gonna fall off. Look at my poor grandmother's feet. Look at her feet. Her feet look like her body's been in rigor mortis for days. Yeah, so a big theme in this video is that someone has actually edited these pictures a lot and made a lot of mistakes while doing it. I assume if I had to guess what they've done here after watching this video is that they have literally just use a preset, like a filter that they put on pictures and just shot it on every single picture. Now, obviously you can't really do that because every picture has different colors in it, has different lighting. Like every picture is different, meaning you can't just put the same filter on each picture and expect the same results. Under certain lighting and different colors in each picture, the filters can look very, very different. And I mean, yeah, these do definitely get worse. My arms, again, a little purple here. Her arm over there is gray. And if you take a look at my mother-in-law in that green dress right there, it looks like she's been shot. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea how this has happened because clearly this is just something that's on the pictures. Like the way she's talking about it here, this isn't like a mark or like a bruise that she has on her chest. This is just something that's seen in the pictures. So how on earth does that even happen? I actually have no idea. I want to give you a comparison. Look at our skin tone in these pictures. This is the exact same picture edited differently. Yeah, like that is so bad. That, that's just really bad work. And again, this clearly isn't a style choice. This is just someone who has been lazy with their editing, which for me is very, very different to the first situation. That's not, th it was a sunny day in August, hot as hell. The lighting was great. Why was it edited like this? 
Yeah, like I said before, I believe that this is just a filter that they've just shot on like multiple pictures and haven't really changed it much. And the thing is, right, I actually have a lot of sympathy for people who are wedding photographers because I imagine that that probably is one of the more like stressful jobs to have because you only have one shot at it, right? There's only one wedding day in most cases. Yeah, you can renew vows and stuff and have different events, but the actual wedding day in particular, you really get one shot and the photos have to be good. But this doesn't really seem to be a problem with the photos itself. It just seems like they've been edited really badly and it seems like they've done a very lazy job of it but the worst part for me is me and my husband's faces are severely photoshopped and facetuned um and it doesn't look like us and it's really irritating to me because it's kind of like a slap in the face like Oh, do you think we were ugly? Oh, man. I mean, yeah, that is really insulting. Can you imagine getting your pictures back and have just photoshopped your face? I'd be like, what the fuck are you trying to say? That does not look like him. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I know exactly what's happened to you. Yeah, so as you can tell by her husband's face, it seems like, first of all, his skin is ridiculously smooth, like, unnaturally smooth. He looks a bit, like, cartoonish. And you can even tell by, like, his facial hair and stuff. Like, you can hardly even see it here. Like, the facial hair, he is really blurry, but you can see bits here. What I believe has happened to you, because this is something I literally do. I believe what they've used is a photo enhancer, like an AI enhancer, where you put the photo in and it gives you like a much larger image, a better quality image. And this is something that I use on a daily basis because my thumbnails that I use for these videos, I have to take screenshots of the people's videos that I'm talking about. In most cases, the pictures are pretty low quality because they're straight off TikTok. So what I then usually do with the photo is low quality is put it in this like photo enhancer and it makes the picture better quality, meaning I can make it bigger for the thumbnail and it's just a better quality thumbnail. And this is the exact thing it does. It makes skin kind of look unnaturally smooth and it makes you look a bit cartoonish. But the difference is here, I'm making YouTube thumbnails. I'm not taking pictures of people's weddings. And also the main reason I do that is because it's when I have a picture that is bad quality. Like these are wedding pictures that I've been posed for with I assume a very expensive camera. You don't need a do of this because it does change facial features ever so slightly, maybe not crazy amounts, but it does change them slightly. Like she just said, in one of the pictures, her freckles are completely removed because of this. That is something you just can't do in wedding photos. It's, it's mental. Again, photoshopped face. Why? My husband is a beautiful fucking man. Yeah, I mean, that is the exact same thing that I'm talking about, right? This is an AI photo enhancer. I'm like 99% sure of it. I mean, look, it literally is wiped like half his facial hair of his face, man. I mean, you can see here some facial hair and then on this side it is just none there i'm pretty sure he didn't do that like maybe i'm guessing wrong maybe he did only just shave half his face but i'm pretty sure that isn't the case it's because the ai photo enhancer hasn't picked up the hair here and it's just not showing it here's my photoshopped face does that look like me yeah i mean that is mental it literally has just took away all her freckles some of our photos were absolutely gorgeous and i don't know what went wrong but it went very wrong Everybody at my wedding looks like they died a week ago. Yeah, I mean, that's really disappointing for her. I can't imagine how gutting that must have been when she got the pictures back. But yeah, like I mentioned before, this second situation seems very different to me compared to the first one. I would love to know your opinions in the comment section down below. I imagine... I might have had a very unpopular opinion on that first part, judging by the comments that I have seen. But I just feel like it's been blown out of proportion, the first situation in particular, because there's a difference between saying, oh, I don't think the photos are that great, or I don't think it's worth the money, maybe that's a bit too expensive, compared to just slating her work and saying she's really shit at her job. I just think that is a very big overreaction. But maybe that's a very unpopular opinion, judging from the comments that I've seen. So let me know in the comment section down below. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know any if it's fine. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please do a like down below, subscribe if you are new, and until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. Goodbye.